Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and today I'm showing you guys how to downgrade your GTA 5 after the latest GTA 5 update that happened today. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be starting up your GTA 5 today with your Rage plugin hook. Not really expecting anything, your GTA 5 is going to start updating, you're going to start worrying. You start loading your Rage plugin hook and it's probably going to throw an error code that looks something like this. It's going to say the current game version is not supported, install game version 2372 and the latest version is unknown since it's not technically known at all to Rage Plugin Hook yet. But your current version you're installed on is 2372 and then the current GTA 5 updated one is a newer version than that. So obviously your Rage Plugin Hook is throwing you an error code. But it's going to say down here it is detected a supported game version. Do you want to revert to this game version? Hit yes, and it's going to start reverting. But after this, it is not just enough to start GTA 5 alone. Fortunately, that is how things are. That is just how GTA 5 does it. And Rage Plugin Hook used to work doing that, but now it doesn't. So do not worry if this doesn't work for you. I do have a link down in the description below that will bring you to a folder that looks something like this, which will include a GTA 5.exe and a bunch of other EXEs that are from the original GTA 5 download folder that I made before GTA 5 updated and most of you guys should have made before GTA 5 updated but I will leave a link for these downloads for these files just in case you didn't do them because I did put them on my community page and in my discord server but do not worry if you don't have them because I'm going to show you guys how to use them now so what you guys are going to want to do is close the start menu once you've done that and then you guys are simply going to want to grab these four download files right here and drag and drop them into your GTA 5 like so. Now this is only going to work for the Steam version I believe. I don't have any Rockstar Games EXEs or Epic Games EXEs. If I do find some, I believe Criminal Justice might be able to have some Rockstar and Epic Games EXEs if it does work for these types of GTA 5. So if it does, I will ask him for his EXEs when his video comes out later on and I will link them down in the description below later on for those of you guys who are on those versions but sometimes it is not compatible to revert in Epic Games or Rockstar Games I'm not exactly sure which one it is but sometimes they're just not compatible to revert which is why most people go for the Steam version because it is a lot more compatible with mods in general but grab your downloads right click and copy and then right click and paste and then replace the four files that are already in the destination. And now all you guys are going to want to do is head down here, double click on rageplugin.exe, and it should begin to load just like normal. It will load your Steam. Steam's going to ask you to make changes to your device. Just hit no, and everything will be okay. The screen went black because it's trying to show you an admin panel, so do not worry about that. But just like usual, your GT5 will launch, load into the game and all your mods will be compatible but do make sure you click no to that Steam updating. If you click yes, don't worry, just repeat the steps that I just showed you now and it should start working again. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe, comment down below and like the video. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my Discord server down in the description below. If you want to support me a little bit further money-wise, then you can check out the join button next to the subscribe button. We have a monthly subscription and get early access to all of my videos. But cheers and goodbye.